This video is about BAM's quality outcome in oral and maxillofacial surgery, or QAMS. It is aimed at professionals and students interested in finding out more about our project. There is also a longer video with more details available on the BAM's website. After discussions and consultation with the BAM's membership, it was decided that QAMS will be a multifaceted project that combines a quality of care management system and a clinical effectiveness program for the whole specialty. QAMS should also become a tool for the continuous personal development of surgeons and support secondary research initiatives. How does QAM propose to achieve its objectives? QAMS include a series of clinical registries, some run as clinical audits to measure the quality of care provided by healthcare professionals, while others address issues in specific areas of OMFS practice. Here are the OMFS subspecialties so far included in QAMS. The clinical audits cover areas like oral and endoalveolar surgery, oncology, orthognatic surgery, reconstruction, trauma, and skin cancer. The clinical effectiveness registries will include salivary gland cancers and mandible reconstruction. The selection of the procedures, conditions, and metrics in QAMS was done by BAMS members. This process drove the selection of variables necessary to describe those elements. Variables to adjust for case mix were chosen by expert opinion and literature reviews. QAMS tried also to limit as much as possible the number of nice to know variables. Ultimately, QAMS aim to produce risk-adjusted quality metrics. How is QAMS managed? The QAMS project team manages the day-to-day -day activity of the project with oversight from the steering committee and BAMS council. The team is composed of the clinical lead and the deputy, the project manager, and nine audit leads and deputies. Contacts between surgeons in the field and QAMS rely in part on the BAMS regional outcomes leads. As QAMS' most valuable asset, how is data managed? QAMS has a typical data flow where data is collected and stored until it is analyzed and the results disseminated. Afterwards, data are deleted when no longer required. The Bart Cancer Research UK Centre, or BCC, at Queen Mary University of London was selected to provide the IT solution for the project. QAMS is using the research electronic data capture software known as REDCap to collect data. The BCC has secure data storage in the UK and provides a safe haven environment and a secure web transfer service. That is all for this brief introduction to QAMS. If you wish to read more about the project, please visit the BAMP website, follow us on Twitter and Facebook for updates, or contact directly the project team. All the details are given here. Thank you for watching this video. We are looking forward to hearing from you.